Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Reminders app on iPhone running iOS 13. So you can use Reminder uh, app to allow you to uh, track all the tasks that you need to do uh, during the day or during the week or during the month. Now first, let's uh, go back to your home screen. On your home screen, there you should see an app called Reminders. So you can tap on this app uh, to open. Now, before we even um, launching the Reminders app, uh, you should go into settings and uh, turn on uh, iCloud Reminders. So in iCloud here, then tap on iCloud and make sure Reminders is turned on. Once you have uh, switched it on, you can sync your Reminders tasks across all your different Apple devices, uh, such as an iPad or your uh, MacBook Pro uh, or on a computer. So it is best if you can uh, turn on reminders so that it can sync across different devices. Now once you have done that, you can also tap on the back key to go back to settings. And going back into settings, if you go down, you can tap on reminders. In here you can also choose to set a default list in the reminders. So by default it is set to reminders. In the iCloud account, you can also set the default list to other account if you have them. So for example, I have um, connected to the Outlook services and Yahoo services. And so in uh, these services, they also have reminders as well. So I could use the iCloud one or from uh, Outlook or from Yahoo. Or if you got Google, you could use from the Google as well. Just depend on what kind of services you have uh, connected. Now once you have done that, you can see that down here, you can also choose uh, today notifications and you can also enable show as overview. We will uh, visit uh, these settings at the end of the tutorials. Okay, now that we have um, uh, set up the, um, the required settings in settings, we can open up the Reminders app. So in the Reminders app at the top here, the top sections is a smart, smart list. So you got uh, today. Uh, today we show you all the uh, the sketches that need to be uh, completed today, or oh, any overdue task uh, shown here. And then you got um, schedule um, reminders. So these are the schedule reminders uh, based on the time. You can see here. And then you got flag. So flag reminders are reminders that you have been set as an important reminders that may need more attention. And if you tap on the O, it will show all the reminders across all the different uh, lists available up here. Now, if you go down here, you can see I got um, a lot of different lists in with the reminders in the iCloud account. Uh, before you even create the reminder, let's take a look at how you can add lists. So at the bottom here, you can tap on the add list button and then you can choose an account. And here you can create a list. So let's say you want to do um, cleaning, so cleaning list, and then you tap on um, the color, so you can choose the color. So let's say we're going to choose purple, and then you can also choose an icon for that list. So here you can see they have a bunch of different icons uh, that you could choose. So choose one of the icons that you want to, uh, to set for your uh, list. So I'm just going to uh, choose a random one right here. So I'll clean the house. So and then tap on done. So you can see I have uh, created a new list uh, down here called cleaning. Any list that you don't want to use, you can uh, delete it. So you can swap across like this and tap on the delete button to delete uh, the list. Now you can also create a group. Uh, grouping allow you to easily organize uh, your reminders. So here you can see I have the fun uh, group. I got the monthly shopping group. And you can tap on uh, edit button up here at the top. Then tap on add group. And then in here, we're going to create a new group called, uh, let's say house. And then you can tap on include. So include, uh, include any of the list that you want. You can create more than one list. So I want to add in the cleaning list. And then um, I'm just going to tap on the back key, then tap on create. So now you can see I have uh, created a group called 
uh, house you can also drag on the group to move it up and down the list like this and tap on done so now you can see we have created a, a group called house and then here I have created a list called cleaning now in this group you can create more um, listing if you wanted to so that is uh, creating a group in a list now to create a reminders you can tap on the reminders here or uh, on, on one of the lists so cleaning and then here we can tap on add new reminder so tap on that and let's say um, by laundry powder and then you can tap on done button to finish off and then let's tap on another one so create new reminder and down here is a toolbar a shortcut toolbar so you can see I can uh, quickly create a reminder task based on the time so based on today tomorrow or this weekend or I can select a custom um, uh, day so and here I can choose a specific day uh, that I want to create so here is a ex an example again so you can choose today and then uh, we can say clean the toilet and then uh, at this point you can also tap on the information button that will expand out with the details and you can see here at the top is the title clean the toilet you can add notes add uil and you can turn remind me on the day on or off if it is on this is the whole day reminder you can also add in a specific time so remind me at a time and then let's say you want to uh, remind cleaning at 12 12 uh, p.m and then we can choose repeat or not so if this is a thing that you do uh, weekly you can tap on repeat and then choose uh, weekly uh, and repeat you can choose and repeat or never uh, end so repeat forever uh, remind me a location so that is a location reminder we will take a look at that in a minute and then down here you can set flag priority list and you can even create subtasks as well so let's say if you do cleaning then you got cleaning the toilet clean the bedroom clean the house so you can create many subtasks so that is cleaning the toilet so let's tap on create new reminder and then we can uh, you can see we can create um, a, a reminder based on the location as well so you can tap on the location icon and this will allow you to create a location based um, reminder now the location base can be when you're arriving home when you're arriving at work when you're getting in a car when you're getting out of a car or you can tap on the custom to select a specific location so let's say when you're getting to the shopping center uh, near your house you give it a name and when you arrive there it will basically tells you that um, uh, you need to do something at that shopping center so that is uh, totally uh, up to you to choose the locations now you can also set a flag so this is like if this is an important uh, reminder so meeting at meeting uh, with Bob for example and then you can set a flag you can see you can tap on the information and it is a flag and then you can also set priority low medium to high so let's say we set priority to high um, we're going to choose list uh, work list and tap on done and now we go back to the list so in here you can see work list we got one uh, meeting with Bob and up here at the top it will give you a summary so flag flag items so meeting with Bob uh, today uh, anything that needs to be done today it shows here as well as items that is overdue um, any schedules items schedules items and reminders are based on the time so it will be shown here as well and then uh, down here so let's go into reminders task and then if you tap on add reminders you also can attach uh, images so you, in the shortcut toolbars you can uh, give it a name to to write later 
and then take a photo. So you can use um, take photos, you can use the camera to take a photos, or choose a photo from the library or scan documents. So here we can uh, live, we've got live photos here. I can choose a photo and then it is now added. So you can see to write later, saying we add our photos. And then if you tap on the information button, you can see uh, you can add images down here. You can add more than one images, so you can continue to add more photos uh, to take photos. Uh, you can set subtasks again, everything's almost the same. So you've got remind me on a day, remind me at the locations, remind me uh, when someone is messaging you. So with reminding when someone messaging you, so you can tap on uh, new message and then tap on the information button when Bob call ask him to return the plate for example and then tap on the information button and then choose remind me when messaging so when that person messaged you so you have to choose a person from the contact list and then when that person messages you, uh, the reminder will pop up and tell, telling you that um, you need to discuss with that person about a particular topic. And then I'm just going to tap on back. So this is a list of all the reminders we have just uh, created. So to mark our reminder as completed, we can go into reminder, go into today, and any task that have you have done already, you can simply just select the, the checkbox right there. And that will mark the reminder as completed. When you go back here, you can see it now shows two items only. And if you tap on that, you can see now it only shows uh, two items. And let's see, so if you go into the reminder list here, you can also see the items. If you tap on the menu key up here and then tap on uh, show or high completed. So this one here, high completed task. So any task that has already been completed, it will not show. Or you can tap on show completed task and that will show any task that you have already completed will be shown here. And you can also delete any reminder that you don't want to keep. So I'm going to choose on all here and let's say there's a lot of uh, reminder items that I don't need to keep. So I'm going to delete that, swipe across, then tap on delete. I can also flag it so I can flag these items as important and you can see in the flag uh, section here I got now two items that is flag as important I can also rearrange um, items in reminders so I'll simply tap and hold in here to rearrange them so let's say go to today and then I want to rearrange them so just tap and hold uh, in here you cannot um, rearrange I think you can uh, you can't so oh, in the list you can so if you go down to reminders list here you can rearrange them and then let go and then you can place this one at the top here and you can also rearrange to that um, a reminder is a subtask of another reminders as you can see right here so let's rearrange this one to be at the top and then let's say this one here you can also rearrange it to be a subtask of another items as well so rearrange and make a task into a subtask you can uh, do that kind of thing as well so I'm just going to double check here to see if you can rearrange these items or not. So you can see in here in today's you cannot uh, rearrange them. You can you can only rearrange them uh, from the list, but not in the today's uh, section. Now at the top of the reminders is the search bar. You can search for your reminders. Uh, so let's say you know you search for any topic to do with cleaning. You can type in cleaning, and it will comes up. Uh, as cleaning as you can see right here uh, we can uh, simply cancel it now with overdue tasks as i shown you in settings before in here you can see uh, if you go into reminders you can set show as overdue so over here you can see this item is overdue when we have when we turn it on any overdue reminders it will show in red so if you go into settings and turn it off it will now show us just a uh, simple gray and when it is as in red it quickly allows you to see that this item needs to be done immediately because it is uh, overdue you can also share your reminders as well so if you tap on a particular reminder so this one here 
and then I can tap on it so I'm just gonna do it again so tap on this one tap and hold so, so you can share I'm just gonna uh, deselect them so you can select the items here and then go into the more options and then tap on add people to share so you can tap on add people and then you can choose to share through messages mail facebook or any other uh, social uh, messaging app that you have installed you can even uh, just simply tap on the copy link as well so you can see here uh, all the different uh, social apps that you can use to share uh, i'm not going to share it now and i'm just going to deselect the items and if we tap on hold on to one of these items and tap on the more options you can see there are other things that you can do uh, such as deleting the list select reminders high completed and you can give it a name and appearance now giving a name and appearance is only allows you to change to the list not the reminder itself so you can see this is the list for reminders if you want to change um, the appearance for the work list here you can tap on this uh, more options and then tap on name and appearance and then you can change the background color uh, you can choose a different icon down here as well and then tap on done and that's it so that's how you can change the icons and the color of that list okay so that is pretty much everything that you can do with uh, reminders now one of the things uh, that you can do is also using Siri uh, to um, create reminders or to set reminders. So in here you can say things like, Hey Siri, remind me to buy milk. Okay, add it to reminders. Remind me to call Bob at 10 a.m. Remind me to call Bob at 10 a.m. Okay, add it. Hi Siri. Remind me to talk with Bob when I get to work. Okay, your reminder is set. Hi Siri. Hi Siri. Remind me to clean the roof gutter every year. Okay, your reminder is set starting January 20th, 2021. Hi Siri. Cancel reminder. You have 24 reminders. Which one do you want now to Now we can choose one that we want to delete. Delete meeting with Bob? Yes. Okay, it's gone. Hi Siri. Uh huh. Remind me to buy honey in shopping list. Which list should I add it to? Shopping. Or. Sh done. And then you can also, um, let's say when you are using a website, you can also ask Siri to remind you of this website so that later you can revisit that same website. Hi Siri, remind me of this. Okay, add it to reminders. And you can see it's added to the reminder. So if I go into reminder here, and then just add the link down here so that you can simply tap on it to open that link. Hi Siri, remind me about camera when David messaging me. Okay, add it to reminders. And that's how you can use Siri to set up reminders on your iPhone running iOS 13. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.